is back on Broadway for the first time since its 1979 premiere. We're here at the Marquee Theatre to bring you inside the opening night of the highly anticipated revival starring Ricky Martin, Elaine Roger, and Michael Cerveris. Tanya, what are you excited about for Evita tonight? Well, this is one of my favorite shows of all time, and I actually got to see Elena do it in London. It is one of my favorite scores ever. I listened to this score <laughs> a lot in college, uh, and I and I have a lot of friends in this cast. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to hear the score again. It's been so long since I listened to it. I've never seen it. Uh, I've only seen the movie. I've never seen a live production of it. So I'm a big fan of the score, um, but I'm just I'm really excited to see the show. I've never been lucky enough to see a production, so I'm I'm absolutely thrilled that this will be my night, and I'm I'm so excited to see Elena as as Ava. So I cannot wait. What song are you most excited to see in real life? Um, I'm excited to see. Uh, surprisingly good for you. I really like that tune. Rob Ashford does this tango in the shadows, which is just haunting and extraordinary. You're trying to make it out, and it's sensual, and it just puts you, sets the mood right there. Probably Rainbow High. Pedon, pedon. <laughs> What's new, Buenos Aires? I know the choreography is going to be insane. It's been so off my radar this show that I can't wait. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna bring up a lot of lovely memories. How does it feel to be part of the first Broadway revival of Evita? Amazing! Everything is like so happy for me. Uh, everything also, the cast is amazing. I feel that well, we did a great show. The audience was with us all the time. I, I feel happy. I was very nervous. How does it feel to be back on Broadway? It feels amazing. I had the opportunity to do like this many, many years ago. I'm in another place, mentally, spiritually, physically, and uh, it feels amazing. This is only the beginning. It's been such a, a buzzy day. Everyone's just been so excited and full of energy and happiness. And, and, you know, I don't think there's any other way to do it. It's great because we didn't feel like we were trying to recreate anything from the past. We obviously knew that a lot of people have really strong attachments to the play. But Michael Grandage was so great sort of giving us the task of just creating it sort of from scratch. What attracted you to this project initially? Um, initially, Andrew Lloyd Webber um, asked me if I would be interested in doing a revival. So it was a kind of um, overwhelming feeling that the responsibility was coming to, to somebody finally to create a new production after that amazing, iconic first production. And uh, it was just a challenge I wanted to take up, really. It's a big responsibility. Uh, but we're having a really good time. We're just allowing ourselves to feel. I had worked with Rob Ashford. Um, and Thoroughly Modern Millie, and I basically tackled him in the lobby of the theater and I said, I am, we are doing this show. Only every once in a while are you part of something that people are so excited about, and I feel that in the city, I feel that in the audience, and this, sh this show has not been on Broadway since, when did it open? 1979. So, I mean, and it's an incredible show. To get to, to choreograph that music, it was, it was a real joy, and also to have Elena and Ricky and Michael, to have principals who can actually dance was, was quite thrilling. What can Broadway audiences expect from this production of Evita? Some of them, they've seen the last, the, 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 the old production. So, I don't know, I think that my advice is to come with a, with a mind like empty so they can take everything from the show. I think everybody has to kind of just allow the production to be, instead of, instead of a restaging or a remounting, a new thing and I think they'll be pleasantly surprised. You'll have an amazing stage, you'll have an amazing, amazing dancers, amazing actors, actresses. We're 120 people working for something and we're giving all we have. 